you are now watching Retro Arcade Reviews. I want you to press that button. It says subscribe, so join us. Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Smash TV. Smash TV is a multi-directional shooter that was developed originally by Williams in 1990. Its copyright and trademark was transferred to Midway in 1996. I just recently played this game at an arcade, and it just reminded me on how much I'm not a fan of the double joystick system. It just drives me crazy, man. I mean, it totally makes sense for this game, and you'll probably see it in other games like Karate Champ, but it's just not for me. Other cabinet controls I can't stand is that damn trackball. I could understand the trackball for games like Marble Madness, but for Sega Sonic and Cabal, I mean, come on. In Smash TV, you and a friend are contestants in a futuristic game show set in the distant year of 1999 to fight for money, prizes, and your very survival. Every room contains hordes of enemies that try to bum rush you in every direction. You have to fend them off using your guns while collecting prizes and power-ups. What makes this game extremely difficult, though, is that one touch from the enemy hordes will cost you a life. Yes, if there was ever a need for a life bar, it would be for this game. This is where the double joystick comes in handy since the left joystick controls the player's movements and the right joystick controls the gunfire direction. There's something in Smash TV called the Pleasure Domes. Now I only played the game in the arcades and never owned a home port and since I never beat the game or never went near the ending, I've never personally seen it but apparently if you collect a bunch of keys and go through the right doors, you'll stumble upon it. Originally, the Pleasure Domes didn't exist. It was just a talk created by the developers because they believed that nobody would be able to make it to the end. However, this turned out not to be the case because there was numerous complaints from players, arcade owners, and magazine publications about not being able to complete the game, leading Midway to include the Pleasure Domes in later versions of the game. Fun fact, the game's creators borrowed the theme for Smash TV from the 1987 Schwarzenegger movie, The Running Man. In the arcades, the game did garner some popularity because of its unique theme and presentation. It also spawned an indirect sequel called Total Carnage. Smash TV was ported over to the NES, SNES, Game Gear, Sega Master System and the Genesis. It saw several re-releases in arcade compilations such as Arcade Party Pack for the PS in 1999, Midway Arcade Treasures for the PC, GameCube, the Xbox, and PS2, and a 2012 Midway Arcade Origins. Since the dissolution of Midway Games in 2010, Smash TV was delisted from Xbox Live Arcade Service, which is too bad because Smash TV is a big piece of arcade history, and if you get a chance, get a friend, play the game, and let me know what you think. <laughs> 